So the euro yen is, and after after Trichet's uh, words in the week, didn't do any harm to the euro. It's still making good headway. So looking at looking at our euro yen then, with the break of the 115, higher price is expected. The next level was the 119.79 where we expected a, you know some reaction we got a minor one in that we had a couple of days pause and back on the long side above the 119.79 the next stop is really not until the 127 so in this euro yen our bias is still to the upside and there isn't a I mean there isn't I mean in terms of a structural long where you know we've taken it out um, you know in fashion the 119.79 so that's you know for our you know for your for your radar screen the 119.78 is you know we've blown these structures out on these these strong pairs against the against the yen. Um, maybe maybe the one twenty five thirty, you know, could give us a. Could give us a nearer. significant point um, it was a point that um, we reached two two highs here two two turning points in the market um, the 127 is the 127 I'm I think you'll agree is a is a much more pronounced area it's it's a level that has been consistently revisited in the price action in this pair. Okay, you see these, you see these points here, and again, where we have we have the market holding the one twenty seven. We break it and then it holds to the upside. It's a very strong technical indication. So thank you for pointing out the 125. Yes, there are a couple of levels here, but the big target would be the 127. Yeah, it's pretty um, it's pretty tasty, isn't it, Louise? Um, Regardless of targets, we don't do targets, but we do significant levels. Um, we might expect some. You now we're going to expect some noise around around there. But the point, I'm, the point is, we're still looking to the long side. We've broken the structure 119.78. So um, this significant level, then our structural short is the 119.78, just like the Aussie and the CAD example. Want to be back short below here, so we've you now we're kind of getting into no man's land, but to the bullish side, okay. Let's have a look at how it how we're looking on the 200 tick. Now, um On the on the two hundred tick chart, it's a little bit clearer. Um, our entries are getting a little bit closer because we've had um, we've had less to momentum drive than we've had in the in the Aussie and the CAD somewhat. So the the high made from the last session. Is going to be our entry to the upside 
remember we've got clean air above the 123 certainly for another 200 pips or so so our entry to the long side is 123.07 the short is for starters not not um, high in our on our agenda or our priority but we have to have a short point near term and that is going to be the 122.13 just been had some price action recognition around this 122.13 and for those of you um, obviously you're going to align this with the opening ranges of the next two couple of sessions to give you a, a better um, but an idea of where the market is positioned. So the short is 122.13. Now, if we're going long at 123, our long stop is going to be positioned the other side of these two daily highs. So our long stop is 122.50. Okay, or you know. Maybe give it a little, give it a little bit, but the idea is to have your stop below these two daily highs. So between 140, between 140 and 150, 122, between 122, 40 and 122, 50. Okay. If we're going short at the 122.13, again, same principle applies. We're going to have our short stop the other side of those two highs at 122, 122.70.